So in order to better understand that strange retrograde motion of the planet, that complex motion that you see right here, I created a JavaScript model. Uh, I did this the, the easy way. I first created the Copernican model with the sun in the center and then all the planets revolving around this. I used the real values of the planets, so the real velocity, velocity the real distances and so on. And then I made what is called a coordinate transformation, where I use simple mathematics to view what this motion looks like as seen from the Earth. And that's just a few lines of mathematics, and then you immediately get from this to this insanely complicated uh, picture. Well, let's first look at the inner planet so you better understand what's going on in those lectures. So let's look at, um, let's look at Mercury first. Let's slow it down here. As mentioned before, we can easily see that Mercury is rotating around the Sun. Well, Ptolemy didn't know that. He thought that Mercury was rotating somewhere here. But this is very clear evidence of the heliocentric model right there. It is revolving not around the Earth, but it's revolving around the Sun. The same goes for Venus. So here we see Mercury and Venus, the two inner planets, both circling around the Sun. It takes a, a, a slightly bigger orbit. You can see it creates beautiful patterns and the pattern of Venus is especially beautiful as it creates a four-pointed flower that we'll see in a moment. So here we have the fourth side and then we get the last one right here. So here we see that four, five-pointed flower. It's, a, it's pretty in incredible. Um, a good idea for a, for a tattoo, in fact. So let's now look at the outer planets here. We have Jupiter and Saturn. We also have Mars, but Mars is a bit more complicated to, uh, to understand. Uh, but in the end, it works in the same way. So what do we see here? We see that the motion, the retrograde motion of Jupiter and Saturn perfectly mimics the motion of the sun. And that is because, of course, we actually have to view this motion as seen from the sun. This is the actual motion uh, of those two planets right here. And the fact that they move so similarly with the same rotational period in the same direction is also evidence for that heliocentric model. See you next time.